Amazon is by far the biggest e-commerce company in the entire world. And naturally, it comes under a lot of fire. When a company is that big, people are going to notice everything they do. Now, I'm not saying what they've done is okay. In fact, it's shocking. I was actually affected by some of Amazon's past strategies. One of them being their strategy of analyzing top performing products, then coming out with their own brand, Amazon Basics, and skyrocketing their own product past yours to the top of the listing. While in theory, this is a genius business move, it's also a disgusting tactic that crippled many sellers. And in October 2022, a 900 million pound class action lawsuit was filed in the UK against Amazon over the buy box feature, which favored products sold by Amazon itself. So, we know Amazon are taking over the private label world, but what else are they doing? Well, we also know how badly the employees have been treated, but this video, I want to discuss you. Not someone who works for Amazon, but someone who uses the Amazon platform to sell your own product. And in this case, we'll be talking about the merch side of things. Merch by Amazon is a platform that allows you to sell print-on-demand products via the Amazon website. This is really cool because it requires no upfront money. You just need to apply and once getting accepted, you can create designs and they'll be live on Amazon's marketplace. Sounds simple enough, but no, not really. If you get accepted, and that's a big if, you then start on tier 10. This means you're allowed to upload one design a day up to a maximum of 10 designs on your account at any one time. And in time, after getting enough sales and uploading enough products, you may get tiered up to the next level where you'll be able to upload more designs every single day with a higher maximum allowance on your account. Is this all worth it? Should we be bending over backwards for Amazon. Well, in terms of reach, Amazon get over 2 billion visitors a month. 200 million people are subscribed to Prime, which means they'll automatically go for products that have Prime delivery if they can, which print on demand products do. Despite it not being the best place for sellers, it's actually a really good place for buyers. 89% of people say they trust Amazon more than other e-commerce sites. And that's really important because I like to know that my customers are going to be treated well. And if there's a problem, Amazon will sort it out. So why are we even considering stopping? What has Amazon done now? Well, they've only gone and lowered the royalties for sellers using merch. Royalties is the way you would get paid if you joined their merch program. For example, if you charge $17.99 for a t-shirt, you would make $3.72 in royalties. Effectively paying $14.27 for the product and the privilege of selling on Amazon. Even though you only see the profit and you're not out of pocket at any time, it's crazy how much Amazon are charging for such a basic quality product. Well, from January the 3rd, 2023, the royalties will be adjusted. Not by much, but when they were so low to begin with, even adjusting it just a tiny little bit makes a massive difference. The new royalties will look like this. $17.99 will now bring in $3.41 profit which is 31 cents less. This doesn't sound like much, but as a percentage, this is a decrease of 8.3%. With cost of living going up, we don't want decreases in our pay, we want increases. And on a larger scale, if you're getting 100 sales per month now at 19.99, you would be making $523. But in January, that will be $489 a difference of $34 a month or $408 a year. That's quite a lot. That could be a gym membership, Netflix, 
couple of Starbucks coffees. All right, fine, maybe not all of those things, but it still adds up to be quite a lot of money every single year. What do you think? Is that a lot? Let me know in the comments down below. What should you do moving forward? Firstly, you could increase your prices. That might end up decreasing your overall sales and you could actually get less money. So I would recommend testing different pricing points to see which ones get you the most sales and which ones make you the most profit overall. As well as that, I would suggest listing your designs on other platforms, thereby increasing your chances for people to see your products and having more control over your profit margin. If you sold on Etsy, the profit margins are a little better than Amazon. If you sold on eBay, they're also a little better. On Redbubble, they're a little worse. So spread yourself out, sell on various platforms. And should you continue to sell on Amazon? Hell yes. At the end of the day, Profit is profit. And most likely with Amazon, you weren't spending any money on marketing or doing anything like that at all, just relying on Amazon's own organic reach through their marketplace. Unless you are, of course, using Amazon ads, which a lot of people aren't. So even if they cut your royalty, it's still better than having no royalty at all. As annoying as it is to be at such a whim to such a huge company, it just makes me realize more and more that I need to be in total control of my businesses and their earnings. Don't just rely on one company, especially one that can cut your profits in half tomorrow and ban you the day after. So what's your thoughts on this change? Let me know in the comments.